Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? To choose your subtitles, go to the upper right hand corner to the setting button and switch on the captions and choose your language. Hi everyone, today we are going to make quick chicken bites. It's a great starter. I'm sure you'll love it. For that, I have taken half a kg of boneless thigh and cut it into pieces, washed it and dried it. For the masalas, we will require 1 teaspoon of kari sambar, 1 half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder, salt to taste, half a teaspoon of black salt, 1 teaspoon of chaat masala, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder and 2 teaspoons of cumin powder. Also, we will need one lemon. We also require an egg, two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, four tablespoons of corn flour and oil for deep frying. Let's now marinate the chicken. We will add all the masalas to the chicken, the ginger garlic paste and we will squeeze the lime We'll use one lime totally and then we will give it a good mix. Once we have mixed all this well, we will then add an egg. Use a whole egg and just beat it a little and mix it well with the chicken. Let it coat every part of the chicken well. Now it's time to add the corn flour. Add little little at a time, maybe around one or two tablespoons at a time and mix it well. Add the other part as well and see that the corn flour coats all the pieces nicely. Now we will keep this to marinate for about an hour. So let's cover it and leave it for an hour. It's been an hour now. Let's begin to fry the chicken pieces. I've kept the oil on a medium flame. Add the pieces gently one at a time and keep the flame medium low so that the chicken gets cooked properly inside. Add the pieces slowly and nicely. Be careful, the oil is very hot. Don't be in a hurry to flip the pieces. Then slowly start turning the pieces once they are done on one side and keep frying them till they are nice and brown. We are almost getting there. Wow, look at that. They are fried nice and brown. Let's remove all the oil and then keep them aside in a plate. Like this, we will fry all the pieces. So folks, do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon and write your wonderful comments. This is a wonderful recipe and it's really quick and easy to make. So do try it at home. It's very good for parties as well. And for guests who come unexpectedly also, it's very good. So do give it a try. Thank you for watching.